what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Say, check this out. I posted a video of a 13-year-old white boy trapped inside of a toddler's body, and some of y'all lost y'all motherfucking minds. I mean, the level of disrespect, the joking, the racial epithets. I didn't know if I was on some type of kitty channel or something. Because this is the type of shit you hear on those wide open forums where people are just saying all kind of stupid shit and they get off topic. They ain't even talking about what's really going on. I mean, I thought I had a more mature audience, but it really sounds like a lot of fucking 13 year olds that found my channel. Here's the thing, man. I know it's hard for some of y'all to believe, but I really do make videos to try to give people an understanding. I try to bring people together. I try to disseminate information. I try to foster better communication. That's why I dropped the video. I ain't dropping these damn videos for likes. It ain't enough likes in the world to talk about some of the shit I talk about and put myself out there the way I put myself out there. And here's another thing. When you're white and you expose social and political corruption, when you call the dirty police out, if you hate Donald Trump and Fox News, they consider you a patriotic rebel. But if you're black, they call you a racist. Which I could never be, even if I wanted to be. I could be a bigot, but I can't be a racist. You see, racism is about power. Bigotry is about intolerance, which I submit to you that I'm neither. I know it's hard to believe, but I make these videos to try to bring people together and give people a better understanding so that they can see things from a different perspective. When I was on tour with the Ghetto Boys, this is early 90s, there was this white kid standing in the VIP at the after party. We had just did a concert and there was this white kid standing at one of those, what do you call those tables, those, those, those high tables, whatever, those small high tables that they have in clubs. He was standing there with two of his white buddies. And I saw them over there, and they, were, they stood out because they were like among only about maybe, I don't know, maybe six or seven white people in the VIP. So... I walked over to that table, and as I'm walking, the dude's eyes are getting bigger. You know, he's getting wider, and he's going like, so I get over there, I say, yeah, what's up, man? And uh, they were like, hey, man, hey, you know? And I was like, the one dude was like, oh, man, man, you, you're pretty cool, man. I thought you was a racist. <laughs> so I asked him, I knew where he was coming from, but I asked him anyway. I say, what, you, what makes you think that? I don't know, man. You know, just the way you, that you be talking about white folks. You know, no, no, he said white people. The way you talk about white people. And I said, I said, well, how do I talk? What do I say about white people that makes you think I'm a racist? So he said, I don't know, man. You know, just the way you talk about the government and, you know, police. I say, oh. I say, so that's it. The government and the police, because I talk about the government and the police, I'm a racist. But when white people do it, they're rebels, they're patriotic. They're standing and fighting for their constitutional rights and their freedom of speech. But if I do it, I'm a racist. But I explained to him, I said, man, 
I talk about the government and I talk about the police and it just so happened that white folks running that shit, man. So, but I talk about the white folks that's running it. I say, if you ain't on some fuck shit, if you ain't on some I hate black folks, if you ain't on some, some oppressed and suppressed black, black folks, then I'm not talking to you. And it's as simple as that for all the videos that I make. If you're not on that shit, if you're white and you're not on that dumb shit, I'm not talking to you. If you are on that dumb shit, I'm talking to you. It's just like I said in the very first song that I wrote for the Ghetto Boys. Do it like a geo. I told you loud and clear. It's in the song. Let me tell you something. I have no reason to front. Nobody owns me. I'm not corporately sponsored. I'm my own man. Don't no motherfucker scare me out there. Period. No man. There's no man out there can do anything to me that I can't do to him. So I stand on two. I don't, I'm not pandering to the base. I'm not going to pander to black folks and I'm not going to kiss ass to get along with white folks. I'm not doing it. I said in the song, do it like a G.O. Willie D is not a bigot and he won't be. I just educate minds through reality. This ain't no motherfucking back to Africa. Try to pull that shit, we'll have a massacre. And then our ancestors was what I said, our ancestors were killed at will, bought and sold like a used automobile. We fought so black could exist. Now we're killing one another. Ain't that a bitch? And then Ready Red coming at you, holding my ground like a motherfucking statue. You take nothing from me, so stop tripping unless you want to take a motherfucking ass whooping, bitch. Motherfuck the KKK wearing dresses and shit. What the fuck is they gay? A colorblind society would never be unless we agree in harmony to do it like a geo. I said that shit in 1989, wrote the song in 1988. And ain't nothing changed. Ain't a damn thing changed about my convictions, where I stand, and really ain't nothing really changed about the way the government operates and the way law enforcement operates. Nothing has really changed. The song is as relevant today as it ever was. So know that when I make these videos, I'm coming from a place of love, man. I'm coming from a place of sincerity. I know it's hard to get that shit these days, but you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me in these type of situations. I'm going to stay solid. I don't even know anything else. At the end of the day, I may be able to lie to y'all, but I can't lie to myself. I got to look into that mirror. And before I even look into that mirror, I have to look into this camera before I start talking to y'all and I see myself and make sure I'm checking my appearance, making sure everything's straight before I go live. And I wouldn't be able to look at myself. I wouldn't be able to deal with myself if I did some of the fuckboy shit some of these cats be out here doing. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Uh, even if I wanted to do it, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So... If you don't like the type of videos that I put out, if you got a problem, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm not going to agree with everything that you think I'm going to agree with. I don't understand that how people can be, they can love everything you do. You say one thing they don't agree with, oh, fuck you, da 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 da. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some things that are just so egregious that you say, what? And you just cut them up. That's it. I can't mess with you no more. I can't. I can't. That, certain things, I get it. But just having certain disagreements uh, uh, over, uh, you know, certain, you know, you might have a certain perspective on a topic that we definitely, 
necessarily don't see eye to eye on. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three topics, whatever. The main thing that you should be focused on is what is the objective? Do we have a common objective? And do you believe that I am sincere in reaching that objective? So if you believe that I'm sincere about reaching that objective and we have a disagreement or two or three, hey man, I'm not going to hold that against you so you shouldn't hold it against me. If you disagree with me on, on a couple of things or whatever, but I know overall you love the people and I know your work, I know what you're about, I'm gonna ride with you. We're gonna have a few disagreements, that's cool. But overall, if I understand we got the same goal and I know that's your goal too, that's different. But some people do reach that point to where they, they go off the edge. I submit to you that ain't gonna happen with me. Because there's two things that I would never do. There's a lot of things that I would never do. But there are two things that are right up there at the top of the list. And one is I would never allow anyone to tell me who I can be friends with. And two, I will never throw my community under the bus. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.